Hello folks, welcome to episode 2 of our look at Starbound 1.3, here in the Unstable branch. So this is a preview, nothing is finalised, so let's actually do some bloody good cool mech stuff. Uh, first let's have a look at the, the brand new navigation console, which is all kinds of different. Um, so yeah, now we've got this weird top-down view of the solar system. If it, this, this is weird. You have to put the mouse to the outside to zoom out. I'm sure they'll put in some additional hotkeys and stuff like that, because if you if you use your normal keys at the moment, you actually do just walk around. And if you try and use the mouse, you can like select things. So I think they'll they'll improve this interface as time goes on, hopefully. But yeah, move my mouse to the outside, zoom out, and we can see the, the local galaxy area, the cluster, or whatever the hell you call it. And you can have a peek around, see what planets are around nearby stars, including if there's any gateways. It'll only tell you the planets and the gateways, uh, and asteroids as well. If there are anything else in the system, well, they they only appear sometimes. So let's, in fact, let's just go back. Um, you, you, oh God, damn it! It's, it takes a bit of getting used to this. Um, you could actually um, hold the left mouse button and move around. And if I wanted to, you I'd press right click on one of these, and I'd, then I'd fly to it. Um, it also tells you if you've actually been to a star system before. Um, in this case, no, I have not. But let's not do that just now. Let's actually go back in... S oh my god, here we go. So I'm all the way into this. We don't want to be there. That's the, that's the, that's the current planet I'm actually orbiting. So let's just... Like, we will go back in there. Uh, that's the current planet I'm orbiting, this alien one from last time. Uh, we can actually zoom um, from place to place like this. This is a right click. And my ship is taking off. I can just move that out of the way so we can see Spoiler Ape in all his um, hatted glory. And we've leapt to this planet over here. Um, this The interface, I've found quite a few bugs um, whilst playing around with the navigation console. It does seem to have a, a thing where if you try and do like um, one thing and don't finish it and then go into another thing, bad things happen. But they'll, they'll smooth things out as time goes on. But interestingly as well, if you really wanted to... Uh, no, not in this screen. You can't do it in this screen. Um, hang on, let's just go, let's go back up to the area. Um, when you're in this screen, you can actually go wherever you want by pressing right click. And as you can see, we're now actually going to go to absolutely nowhere. Uh, eventually. This does take time because you, you, your ship has to um, do that, um, actually get away from the planet. But now we're literally just um, nowhere. Look at this, it's just quiet. Apart from that bloody fountain, which keeps on gushing away. And as usual, she's sat down. I think she's trapped down there. I don't think she, she can get out. Um, anyway, um, enjoy the fart dungeon, love. Uh, I'll actually go back up here. Uh, right, so this is a, a typical star system. Although there's quite a lot of points of interest. Um, oh, by the way, if you do actually jump in to uh, the 1.3 preview or whatever, and you can't find any of this cool weird stuff that looks unfamiliar. Oh, it's gone! It buggered off! They are only temporary. Huh. Um, if you don't find anything that looks cool, that's probably because you have to travel to a faraway star system. If you're using an existing save, you do have to travel quite a long way across the galaxy, it seems, before you can actually find anything interesting, anything new. Uh, that, might, that might be wrong, but it's, it, it, was, it was definitely the case in my experience. Anyway, so my ship is there. There we have a celestial interference prevents a detail scan, but there are anomalous energy readings here that warrant investigation. Over here is a space station, and over here is an NPC ship. Um, I'm tempted to go over to here first, um, because... Oh no! I'm not. I'm really not used to these bloody controls yet. They will. I reckon they will improve it. I mean, they'll put a plus and a minus up here and all that sort of stuff. Anyway, right-click on the anomaly, and we will shuttle across the uh, solar system. Donk! Okay, we've arrived. Uh, the background will show you... Well, hopefully it'll show us something. There it is. There's the anomaly. Alright, so the first thing you'll notice is there's no way of actually getting to it um, with um, a normal beam down. Um, however, if you've seen the last episode, episode one, um, also the first episode, I guess, um, you, were, we, you will know that we've got a mech um, on the go, and because we've done that, we can now deploy the mech. So this is the very first time I've done any of this sort of stuff, so it'll be um, as a surprise for me as it will be for you. So this is still my basic ship, although I've slightly coloured it. Got my little gun out. Right, I've got to make sure that my energy doesn't fall down to- oh god, that's too low. 
My energy doesn't fall too low, so I've got to blast things to... Oh, hello. That's a bad. Right, so different encounters will be have different difficulties. This is actually quite tough already. In the sense that those enemies are... F that enemy over there is quite a prick. Shield! I don't have a shield. Oh, bloody hell. This isn't... The, the test mech had a shield. This one doesn't. So what's that? Oh, it's a drill. Oh, so can I drill? Oh, I can! Yes! Meteorite rock. Oh, good. I can build an asteroid base. There's something mysterious in the middle there, which I'm intrigued by. I mean, this is a space anomaly. So, this is not a space station, so... Um, I've, I've no idea what to expect from this. So, this is just going to be a case of... Oh, I might be able to... No, I can't. I don't think, I, there's nothing to go around to. So, yeah. Um, talk amongst yourselves whilst I just um, inefficiently drill my way. <laughs> Well, actually, am I, am I drilling there? That looks really hard to drill. I'm not even sure I can drill that. So there's red arrows everywhere telling me where pricks are. And there's a prick down there. I can see that. I can see one. But the other ones are a bit further away. Oh, hello. Ah. There's some kind of moon baddie. Now, I saw these on the um, ages ago in the Starbound official blog. They teased these enemies. So I know these are enemies. Also, this is actually really tricky to get through. Let's try and blast it. There we go. Oh, 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 retreat. They can't get me. Using a traditional old-fashioned starbound exploit here. Oh! Right, so I've got some pixels out of that, which isn't the most... Oh, I see. Oh, okay, so I did actually need to do that. Um, I've just realised. That was me being a bit... <laughs> oh, there's another one. Oh, oh that's, that's, that's getting closer. That's getting rather close. Sod off, mate. There we go. Uh, so I think I picked up some materials from that. Uh, maybe. Not quite sure how that works yet. Oh, piss. Uh-oh, uh-oh, careful, careful. Ooh, get, uh, ooh. Oh, that's my first hit. It's the first time that anyone's actually touched me in this thing. I can't eat, I can't shoot for shit. <laughs> get it! Get, get, get got. I probably don't need to do this, but it will actually get me some energy. But Oh my god. I am the worst shot today. Ah, there we go. Right, so I've got some of my blue bar energy back. Let's actually start hitting it properly this time. Got it. And some more energy, which I actually do need. A little plus symbol. Indicates health. Still got one more red thing. But I think we're going to leave that behind. Oh, there's some more... There's some more over here. Oh, God. Oh, oh, lads. Oh, lads, there's lads. Lads, 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 lads. I'm getting murdered. I'm getting murdered everywhere. I've got to retreat. Got to retreat. Right. Oh, gee, I'm so low of energy. Oh, shit. Ah, that's it. This might be the end for Spoiler Ape. No! Ow. Right in the mush. Second attempt. I'm ignoring the turrets this time. On the basis that balls to them, basically. So I'm really hunting the, the green arrow. Not going to worry too much about things. Just do a bit of dodging, really. The green arrow is still this way. Oh, suddenly I'm a good shot. Now I'm actually not bothering to actually finish them off. We've got it down to almost low. Oh, oh hello, bullet. <laughs> How are you doing? Thankfully, there don't seem to be too many utter pricks around. The ones that can actually follow me around. Oh, there's some gold there. So you can actually mine this out for... Fuck, I was going to say rare ores, but gold is as common as muck. Also, the green arrow is the back of the way I came. Oh, hello. Hello. There's a skip. How exciting. Hang on, there's got to be something. There's got to be something to... Oh, it's... Oh, 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 what's that over there? That's the same thing as over here. Let's stay over here. Right. Oh, I can, I can, I can, I can, I can do something. Right, get it closer. Right, I press D. Why did I press? Oh, I got out the thing. I should probably shouldn't have done that. No, I should. I... Can I do that? Oh. Okay, I, I released it. Landing beacon. Huh. Oh. <laughs> Didn't actually mean to do that. Salvaged thrust. <laughs> Salvaged thruster nozzle. Right, that's all good material if I want to start building more mech bits. Can I actually do anything with these? 
Huh. So I can... Uh, yeah, okay. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be getting out of this thing or not. But... A little bit confusing. Well, this is, that's just basic starbound furniture. You can get that anywhere. Don't want that. M mining impact crusher. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, there we That's more like it. Um, there may be a fullness issue here. <laughs> uh, let's just get rid of living root. Dump that in the bin. Salvaged armor plate. Only one of them. Ah, so it does look like you need to actually do quite a bit of um, exploring of these things if you're going to get in. Oh, hello! More! There's more! More, more, more! Got you! Salvaged thruster novel. It's not, it's not, oh, god damn it. Still isn't any room. Let's get rid of that as well. So I'm starting to lose energy. I'm only about down to half. Let's have a quick poke around, see if there's anything else to find. Do, do, do. Doesn't look like there's anything up there. I don't think these um, these are, like, regions are huge, because I've already s managed to get to the bottom of this. Or is it like a hard limit? So I think that might be it. I think we might have explored everything. That wasn't too tough once I actually de um, just comp didn't actually get attacked by anything. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's the top. Um, so how do you actually leave? Ah, there we go. Of course the mech will automatically come back to me. Uh, the option to deploy mech is still there. So, as I said in the previous episode, it's not like um, your, your bloody hover bike, where you have to keep it in the... You have to retrieve it afterwards and put it into your little ball. Um, in this case, it's always with you. Okay, um, so, we're currently at the um, uh, the Celestial Interference. Uh, but there are other things happening at the moment. Uh, there's a hostile ship there, and there's an electronic station and another hostile ship there. Um, I think it might be time to go and have a visit to the hostile ship. Ah. So I wonder if the... I'm, I'm guessing that the encounter I had was uh, related to the uh, level of difficulty of the sort of local area. It was a radioactive star. Um, it's a radioactive star, but I don't think it's... Had, um, so it's that sort of level of difficulty, I'm guessing. Uh, it's an outpost there. Or whatever you call it. Not an outpost, a <laughs> celestial gate or whatever. Oh, god damn it. To really stop doing that. Right. So by the way, um, that was actually a landing beacon that I picked up. So I don't think that actually is anything hugely useful in the great scheme of things. Also got a mining skip and mining railings. Uh, I think the most interesting thing is the fact that we've got all this salvage stuff, which I'm going to try and put um, all together so I can do something with that at the outpost. Yeah, I think that's pretty much all I got. Oh no, there's another thing there. God damn it, I've got so much crap. Right, so I need to deploy my mech again. And we should visit this hostile ship. Again, I don't know what to expect here. But I'm sure I'll get something shot at me imminently. Oh, this is different. Right, that's background. Ooh, piss. It's another mate. Right. Oh, this double mate situation. Oh, there's two. Oh, treble! Huh. Right, so obviously I could do with upgrading my weapons something severely here, because these are not doing huge amounts of damage. They're okay when you're fighting one, but three at a time. Oh, 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 oh. Got you. Oh, I've got some copper wire. Fantastic. Oh, I actually managed to kill them all with actually very little damage. Huh. I'll take it all back. I'm brilliant. I'm totally overpowered. Yes. We just start drilling. Drill! Yeah! Right, what am, what am I doing? I'm following the green arrow once more. Hostile ship! Where art thou? Oh, bloody... Oh my god, it's a big one. That is a severely... Oh, actually, it's really shit. I'm about to kill it. <laughs> yeah, forget that. Oh, there's a moon and another... A killer moon. Clash of moons! Hang on. As long as I don't touch them. That's the, uh, oh god, there's so many of them. Ah! It's happening again, lads. En masse, they're really quite horrible. Is there any more I can kill? Oh, fludge. It's happened again. Okay, I've had a couple of goes at that now. 
Um, and it turns out I'm I'm too underpowered for it. So they just swarm me and kill me. So let's um let's have a go at the electronic station instead. If I can not press the wrong key yet again. Right. Uh, there's there's different sorts of stations. This just happens to be the electronics version of them. Oh, it's not working. Hang on. It is a, being a bit flaky. There we go. That's more like it. Right. Let's pop over. This won't be very far. Give me time to have a bit of a naked sleep on the guillotine. Ooh la la. Oh, oh, bit of a graphical glitch there. I've noticed that before. Have we actually arrived? Oh, I don't think we actually. Um, I don't think we actually quite arrived at where I wanted to be. Um, no. Hostile ship. Oh, the space station is just slight. Oh, look at the, the ship's actually here. Huh. Uh, how cool. Right, electronic station. Now, this is actually quite fiddly. It could do with a bit more, like, granular zoom controls. So, you know, I mean, it's a bit of a clusterfuck there, where there's so many things all, all in the same region. Ah, this is more like it. Now we can deploy mech. One thing I've noticed is that certain circumstances you can't teleport and cer certain ones you can. Um, it seems inconsistent. I'm not quite sure how that works yet. Um, but with this brave new world, well, it's going to require a bit of investigation and debugging, I think. Anyway, so here we are. This time we're going towards a sp reverse. There we go. <laughs> this time we're going backwards to, our, uh, to a um, space station over here. Do 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 do. I wonder how defended it's going to be. I'm a little concerned. Oh, not at all. Yes. And now we should hit some gravity. And we can do some stomping around. Hey, look at this. There's the uh, there's the homing beacon. Uh, we won't bother getting it this time. And I've got to get out. Ooh. Oh, it's a. Oh, it's it's populated. This actually looks very similar to the um the original Starbound blog. Um, image of a space station. Hello, human. One day I shall explore the cosmos instead of hanging around here. But today is not that day. Oh, here we go. Some elevators. Also a vending machine. With some soda. Let's have a, let's have a, let's, have a, let's crack open a nice soda. Since most of my food has rotted away and I've thrown it away. There, I've had a nice drink. And I've got myself some bonus energy. Can I actually go up there? Oh, God damn it! I'm trying to call a lift. Oh, there's a low lift. There's a different kind of lift. Um, how does it work? Oh, oh, lads! Hell, oh, hello. Oh, you can um. Oh, you got control. I've got control. Oh, this must be the new tram system. I think. Because that was another thing that was unexpected in this update. Well, I didn't know about it. Um, they, they've added, uh, I've only seen the change log. Um, and, oh, cool. And apparently they've added new tram systems. So this must be it. I can have a bit of a kip. Ha! Huh. Nice. Uh, let's, let's have a pop down. <laughs> Sod it. Sod it! That's presumably more living quarters. A bit more of a look around. Actually, let's have a look over here. That looks like another entrance way. There are more living quarters. Huh. And most people can't comprehend the vastness of space. Fortunately, I am intelligent enough to do so. Well, he's a lad, isn't he? Where's actually the... There it is. Still not sure what the point of this place is. Um, not, not in a bad way. I'm <laughs> just in a kind of um. But I called it an electronics um, space station, so presumably there's something um, useful to actually like buy or do or something. But either way, even if it's got no use whatsoever, it's bloody cool. Oh, <laughs> it's a little yeah, it's a little bouncy. Let's get out of here. Anything in the crates? Oh, some trove. Minor trove. Oh, salvage proton limiter. Ah, more stuff for mechs. All the salvage stuff is that way inclined. And another one. A salvaged actuator. Pixels. 
and miscellaneous gubs. Call the lift. Let's have a bit of a look up here. Oh, questy poos. Hello. Would you like to deploy your very own space station? <laughs> oh, apparently, so this is how you do it. Um, I can craft for you your very own space station transponder, and all it will take is some resources. Simply bring, bling, bling, bring 50 titanium bars, 50 gold bars, 50 silver bars, and a thousand pixels to me or any other transponder vendor. Rewards, a trace, and <laughs> that. Well, of course I'm going to accept. Um, that's something I, I suppose we'll look at in the next episode, actually. Cool. Um, yeah, that'd be, that'd be good. I want to see how the space stations work. Um, I had no idea that was how you did it. That's really cool. And actually very easy to do as well, because it's just some basic raw materials. Okay, so we'll pick this up again in the next episode. So do subscribe to be notified about when it goes live. Um, it'll be tomorrow. <laughs> Spoiler. Uh, do support my Patreon if you want to help out the channel and feel good about yourself, and also get some bonus videos. And see you next time. Bye-bye.